What's going on everybody? Welcome back to T3G and today is an interesting video. I figure I help out a lot of people out there by making this video and hopefully it does help you out. So let's say you are a person that requires a lot of storage, happens to use a lot of external hard drives, uh, and the hard drives that I'm speaking of, of course, are the bigger ones, not the really slim ones, but these kinds, like the, my book here from Western Digital. And this is the my book essentials i don't know what model it is of the essentials i don't know how old it is uh, but this is the essentials now a lot of times what happens is they stop working you have them plugged in your computer is not detecting it or it is detecting it but anytime you click on it it just doesn't do anything it doesn't open it whatever it might be it just stops working like it used to and what a lot of people do is they take it to you know best buy or some kind of repair shop and you know they ask them hey what's going on oh it's fried you need a new one well that might not be necessarily the case uh, ironically enough because the hard drive in here might not be bad but this case and the little uh, circuit board that it has might be and that's what's causing the problem so the best thing you can do is grab your hard drive since you already think it's fried why not grab a flathead screwdriver now with these flathead screwdrivers make sure it's not too thick in the front make sure it's a little thinner because you will have to get it in here now for these specific ones you have three sides that are vented Right, and you've got the rubber feet here on this one because you can sit it up like that and then you've got your front face. And what you want to do is from the back here, and let's see. So from the back here, you're going to want to put in the screwdriver and pop this out. I'm going to go ahead and change the camera angle so you guys can see better. So I hope that's a better angle. So there it is. So what you're going to want to do is you put your flat head in between this basically in this crack here uh, you're gonna put that in there and you're just gonna try to just get it in between by little by little moving around now you don't want to force it in there you don't want to just slam it in there because if you just slam it in there you might damage the hard drive that's in there so once it's in there in between you just twist a little move it over twist twist you might need to pry it up there we go if you hear that pop that means one of the clips has let loose you go to the other side and and you do the same thing so now this side is basically loose now what you want to do is just kind of put your finger here just so that way it doesn't close up on you and accidentally fully clips back in do the same thing for the opposite side get the hard drive in there and then that clip just let loose go over here usually you can just slide it across and just clip that so now both sides are taken apart as you can see now what you want to do is just grab this middle and take out that and now as you can see in here you have a regular hard drive all it is is that this circuit board here allows it to play as an external hard drive in an enclosure so now what you can do is take this hard drive from this enclosure and test it inside your computer or on a docking station i'll show you the docking station that i have and see if it still works if it turns if you put in the docking station and you're able to access it that means the hard drive's fine and there was just a circuit board and i can tell you right now if we can get close enough right here there's black marks on this brown uh, like tannish line right here it's black and right here it's black i'm almost certain this circuit board went bad again uh, and when i say again i mean on a second hard drive this is for my wife this is her second one that went bad and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this, uh, remove the hard drive from this enclosure the rest of the way. And then I'm going to test it in my computer to see if I register it. And if I do, then she still has all her files and her hard drive. So let's go ahead and try removing this. It should be overall pretty easy. Looks like I can just kind of, let's see here. So this side will slide. 
this side here will slide. So that was pretty easy. As you can see here, you do have one screw here. Now that's obviously not a flathead, that is a Phillips. Come on, there we go. Luckily I have a Phillips screwdriver right next to me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out. All right, so that one's off. Looks like we do have a few more on the bottom here, so we are gonna go ahead and remove those two. So my apologies, I wasn't in frame. So right there, right there, and I believe that one right there also, and this one right here. So there is four more underneath here that we have to remove. So we are going to do that right now. And what I like to do is I actually hold on to these screws. They're good screws. Um, I mean, you might not be like me, but since I build a lot of computers, this kind of stuff can come in hand when doing so. I just wanted to see if I didn't have to take this off, if I could just remove this piece, um, but it doesn't look like it. So I will have to take this final screw out. Now it's interesting that they use different kinds of screws here. Um, it's almost like somebody already replaced it once because that looks like it might be stripped a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead. So that's gonna come off. Now don't just don't just pull this off. This is actually attached within here. So you actually kind of have to slide it out like that. So what I did is I just slid forward to take that off. Now, underneath here, as you can see, is just another hard drive. Now I am a little worried because because the way this one was set up on there and you have to, the way it was attached on here, which some aren't set up this way, but th since this one was attached on here like this and you did have to slide it up, it does look like there's also a little bit of damage here on this circuit board as well. Now uh, that might not be a good thing, but what I'm talking about is right there. Uh, but, you know, let's stay optimistic and see what happens. So now, I'm going to go turn on this loud computer behind me because I have a lot of fans in it. And we're going to go ahead and try out the... We're going to go ahead and try out the actual docking station to see what happens. So let's do that. So this is my docking station right here, which is connected with a USB port. As you can see, I already have a hard drive in there. Uh, basically, you just take out, the, make sure everything is off before you do. Make sure the hard drive is not running. There's a power switch on the back of this. Just pull it up gently. Take out the, if you already have one in there, make sure you take that out. If you do, you already know this. This is the hard drive we just took out. One terabyte green. And just gently don't push it in forcefully just gently let it go in and then give it a little bit of push and that is now on or that is in there flip the switch the light comes on I heard the hard drive start so now we're gonna turn on the computer and see if that works all right so I just turned on the computer I do apologize for the fan noise in the back like I said this computer is loud I have a lot of fans in it um, but that's besides the point. Let's see if we can get you guys a little bit better position here to see if the hard drive shows up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my Windows Explorer or File Explorer. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move this over. Wow. I can say this, the hard drive is plugged in and it looks like it's still a little there we go. So right here I see all my internal hard drives, but I am not registering that particular hard drive. Uh, another thing you can do to verify this, just to make sure uh, it's not showing up, right click on this PC if you're using Windows 10, go to Manage, go to Disk Management, so it looks like there is a disk. Uh, it says you must in 
initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it and there is a disk 5 that's being registered I don't know if I want to do this I don't know if this will actually erase my file so I'm gonna hit cancel for right now just to see if this is registering the hard drive so like I said I'm not sure so I hit cancel I scroll down and on disk 5 it does see a one terabyte hard drive it says that the that the actual hard drive is unlocated unallocated and it's not initialized so what I'm gonna do is right here on the left where it says disk 5 I'm gonna right click I'm gonna hit initialize disk uh, and it does look like it needs me to set that up um, it might be a problem where the that circuit board that was on it did mess something up where the data is gone but it looks like the hard drive is still good unfortunately for my wife that data is now gone but this doesn't always happen the last one I was able to save all her data so make sure you guys don't just uh, assume the worst when you see that your hard drive might not be working um, I'm gonna take a look at this a little further and then I'll go from there so what I just tried is I removed the hard drive from the actual docking station and re put it in to see if it re register it doesn't look like it's re registering it uh, I'm gonna right click again go to manage go to disk management uh, and it's still doing the same thing it looks like the hard drive itself is coming up with the same message is saying that uh, you must initialize the disk before disk manager can access it I'm gonna go ahead and select the master boot record it says that it's online but looks like the data is still not there which is unfortunate but uh, these things do happen unfortunately but the hard drive is still good it looks like we will still have a one terabyte drive I'm just unfortunate that she won't have the data and that's it for this video it was just a quick video to show you that you do not have to throw away your hard drive or automatically assume that something is gone or that it's done or that it's not working anymore take a little bit of a moment of your time or if you know a tech person in your family have them do it if you're not comfortable in doing it and just have them check for you it's a really easy process uh, especially if you have the right tools like the docking station and I will link that in the description below um, but make sure to check it before you just assume that it's bad you could re request from like Best Buy like Beak Squad and Best Buy or some computer shop for them to take apart the casing on the outside of that external hard drive and do the same thing I did I just don't know some some shops don't do that and some shops might charge you a decent amount of money I guess it really just depends uh, some shops might not even do it just because they don't want to go through your data and stuff like that so once again I hope this helped whoever it might have helped it's not a quick video but it's not a long video uh, it's just something I thought I should share with everybody and uh, show that uh, you can still save something even though you think you might not so hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button if you liked it make sure to subscribe for further videos and we'll see you guys in the next one